What do you think of the leaked RTX 3080 cooler? Have you seen this yet? Have you heard about this? No. Where? Oh, here it is. I have not seen this. It's 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 something. Yeah, it's something. Oh my. Yeah. Uh Yeah. Remember how I was talking about but we don't need to go too far? Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Well, I, I'm yeah, I'm not super into it. You also don't see this part of the card, so like, yeah, I just unless you are mounting it vertically, but that's like such a small percentage of people. You know, for me, the thing is, I I'm still, I'm still kind of struggling to get it here. So the PCB is on this side. I'm just like my, my spatial my spatial manipulation that I'm trying to do in my head here. So our PCI express slot is over on the back side here, or is it like, is it in the middle? I, I was on the left. I was on the left. Well, th this, I, the I was on the right for this top card. Yeah. 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 And then sorry. the, I was on the left for this one. And then I guess this part right here is this part right here. No, no, this part right here is on the top. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's this part right here. So, like, where? What is the shape of this PCB? Like, look at this. Also, yeah, if you here it is. This card around. Yeah. You don't end up in the same orientation. Yeah. Right. So right. So yeah, we're looking at opposite sides of the card. I think I finally managed to do this. So if we take this one and we flip it over, or like around, this way. It will be oriented the same way as that one. Okay, there we go. So that means that why can't I see the... Okay, so the PCB is here. So this is the back of the card. Here we go. Now we are looking at the, the top of the card as it would be installed in your system. And here we're looking at it from the bottom. So you're going to have this fan right here kind of blowing through this heat sink array right here, which presumably has like heat pipes running through it. Yep, here we go. So there's heat pipes running through the cooler here. And then this one over here is just blowing like down over the GPU, I guess. So I'm assuming, oh man, see the shape of the PCB is so weird. Because it, it's it's like here, 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 here. You see that? So there's like a this cutout. very odd. It's really weird. I don't understand why they felt the need to do this. There. That's what I'll say. Yeah. It just seems Definitely. unnecessary. It's like engineering a solution to a problem that nobody had with so is there that two said, stacked fans or is there one really tall fan no there's two fans one blowing up onto the gpu here where the pcb is and one at the back blowing straight through the card where there is no pcb because the pcb is shaped like like a square at the bottom and then it goes up and then cuts in and then goes down so the PCB is shaped like a, like a, like a ribbon, you know, with like the, the cutout shape. This sounds so unnecessarily difficult to manufacture. Yeah. But then remember too, this is just going to be founder's edition in all likelihood. So mm. the vast majority of the cards out there are going to be manufactured in a more conventional way. This is clearly Nvidia making a statement. What I don't really understand is why don't they just like, you know, do RGB or whatever, like everybody else does. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like why like why with that said i do think that from a cooling standpoint this is going to be very effective so having heat pipes carrying heat away from the gpu over to a fan that's blowing right through a heat sink fin array where it has unobstructed airflow above it right because the cpu sockets up there but you've got case airflow coming in from the front this thing could be way better cooled than previous graphics cards like the thing you guys got to understand is that graphics cards have a lot of like metal on them 
But part of the reason they need so much metal in their heat sinks is that when you have a fan that's just like kind of squeezed in there like that, it is moving almost no airflow unless the RPM ramps way up. Like you would be shocked at how small of a heat sink you have to strap to your graphics card with a more conventional fan arrangement to cool it adequately. Like if you just move all of the all of the slots under the graphics under the GPU and just like put a little tiny like an Intel stock heatsink on it, most graphics cards would probably run with it. Maybe not quite an Intel stock heatsink, maybe an AMD stock heatsink, like a decent stock heatsink. Um, a push pull setup on a stock graphics card is wacky. It's not push pull. Pretty cool way. It's not push pull. No, it's just push-push. So, push. As far as I can tell, the one on the bottom is kind of like blowing up into the heatsink fin and then kind of scattering the air around it, kind of more like what we see traditionally now. And the other one is blowing through a fin, uh, like a, a, a fin stack. It's bizarre. It's bizarre either way. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I totally missed that part. Isn't this it is hard to wrap to your... Look at. Yes, right, yeah. isn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Gotcha. Super weird.